Hi, welcome to another episode of Stronger with Rakesh Shukla. In Stronger the, with Rakesh Shukla, uh, I talk about how to make you a stronger individual, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, and the reason for that is most of us uh, think or they ha we have a belief that people who are physically strong, they're predisposed genetically to be strong uh, of doing superhuman effort. People who are mentally strong, they were born that way. People who are emotionally strong, uh, they were born that way. There is something innate about them that makes them that sort of an individual. Uh, whereas I know from my experience um, all over my life, in my entire life, that it's not so. I was a very scared person and I've been able to control my fear. I was an emotionally distraught person. I've been able to control that. I was physically a very weak person. I'm the strongest man, 49 year old man I know. So all these things are learned and I'm here to uh, share some of my learning with you. Today we're going to talk about something interesting uh, and take a moment to answer this question for yourself. Who do you love the most in your entire life? Which individual do you love the most? Okay, now answer this question for the second time. Who do you trust the most? Take a, take a minute and think about it. Who do you trust the most? It, is it the same person you named when you said you love them the most? And there's a reason I'm asking this question. Now answer this question. What is that that you want most in your life? Is it success? Is it money? I think most of us do. They're not necessarily the same thing, but it is a money is a good measure of success if you look at the world around us. So, but if that were so, you look at all these film stars, you look at people who are in the music industry, people who are businessmen, people who are entrepreneurs, do you think that they are happy? They are, uh, they are successful and yet they give up their lives, they, you know, they live through a tremendous amount of stress. Uh, so what is? And I'm coming back to the first question that I asked you when I said, who do you love the most? And I promised you that you must have thought for a long while about who in your life your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your, your son, your daughter, who do you love the most? The funny thing is that the person you've lived the longest with is you. And perhaps you've chosen not to answer the question in a very simple way, which is the person you love the most is me. I love myself the most. Who do I trust the most? The person you've known the longest with all your shortcomings, with all your strengths, with all your weaknesses, everything in, in its entirety is you. But most probably you've chosen not to answer the question that way, that I trust myself the most. And isn't that funny that you're looking for success, acceptance, love from others when you don't love yourself the most? And I'm not talking about narcissistic love. I'm not talking about that kind of self-love which... Uh, which makes you think that you know you're the greatest you're the best you're the only one and and people who show narcissism actually don't love each other uh, don't love themselves either they actually loathe themselves but that's a separate question and that brings me to why do you feel this way what is what has happened in your life that you feel this way that you that you you feel that somehow those shortcomings those things that um, there are things in your life that make you feel less worthy of love. There are things in your life that make you feel less worthy of trust. Where is this coming from? This is coming from your entire growing up experience. Since when you were a kid, your parents were telling you something. They were telling you you were not good in math. So either you took up the challenge or you said, well, you know, fuck it, I'm not good, good in math. People said, listen, you were a coward. You said, okay, well... I am a coward. Just because you chose to run away from a dog when you were five years old doesn't make you a coward for the rest of your life. But that's, it kind of sets a tone and these are things that build on each other. And over a period of time you've acquired that personality and you have, you know your shortcomings and those shortcomings that you think that other people have told you is the reason you've chosen not to love yourself. Because you have a certain picture of people you want to love. Th that, those, that picture is is a complete individual 
our politicians, the people in the, in, the, in the movie business, the people that we look up to, isn't that what happens? There's a very talented person and they have one personality flaw and we bring them down. We think they're not worthy of our respect, they're not worthy of our love, they're not worthy of, of being idolized because they had one flaw. Because one person needs to have everything right for you to love them. They need to have everything right for you to trust them. But life's not like that, my friend. And if you're going to start accepting others with their, uh, with their limitations, then the first person you should accept is you. And that one thought changed my life. Because when I went through this really difficult time four or five years back, and I was really lonely and completely alone, and I completely felt unloved. And then I realized that the person I need to learn to love is me. And so people have been telling me, for example, um, I'm a very impatient person. And they've been telling me, you should meditate, you should do this, um, you are too aggressive. It was being this hard-headed, aggressive person, driven, that allowed me to succeed. So you love that part when it comes to my professional life, but you don't love that part when it comes to my personal life. What kind of bullshit is that? So I realized that I'm just going to be me. I have all these flaws and I accept myself. I accept myself with all the problems that I have. I'm not trying to put myself, I'm not trying to be a better individual. I'm not trying to better anything in my life. I accept myself the way that I am. And that has caused me to love myself. That shift has made all the difference. Because you cannot start going out and looking for love if you don't love yourself. You cannot start looking for trust if you don't trust yourself. You need to be your best friend. And after that, if you are your best friend, if you trust yourself to come out of most difficult situations, if you trust yourself that if there is nobody, you will still have yourself. If you have that belief, life is a very simple game, my friend. All the complication of, of looking for relationships, looking for validation, looking for love, it's all bullshit, my friend. Provided you figured out to love yourself. And that's the thing that we do the least. You're always looking for someone else. Your best friend is you. The person you love the most should be you. Yeah, you got a choice. And the choice is very simple. First, you need to just figure out who you really are. Not the bullshit that people tell you, but you know you have strengths. Figure out which strengths you have. You know you have weaknesses. And the things that you're not good at, put them in the dustbin. Don't worry about those things. The things that you're good at, you must love yourself for those. I stopped worrying about what I'm not good at. I love myself. I'm my best friend. And that is what has made me super strong. That is my acceptance has made me super strong. Physically, I'm putting on this t-shirt today. <laughs> I can barely get into it. It's actually a large size. But I have 50 in chest. I can pick 100 kgs. You cannot knock me down, man. And even if you do, I will get up. I love myself too much and respect myself too much to just be lying around. And you should too. The, simp the first lesson of anything is that knowledge and acceptance. So you have a good one. We'll talk again about something else that interests you. Like I said, at any point of time, you think that there is something that you want to talk about. Send me a message if it is within this idea of creating a, creating a stronger you, mentally, physically, and emotionally, then we will talk about it. Okay, so tomorrow's episode will, will be something equally interesting and hopefully useful for you guys. All right? You have a good one. Have a great day. Stay strong. You, you're your only friend.